Today I'm going to teach you how to create this agate tray using a simple two-part mold. Welcome to this tutorial, I'm Anna Alisea. In today's session, I'm going to be guiding you on how to create a stunning resin agate tray using a two-part mold. While this demonstration focuses on the insert mold technique, I want to assure you that this is just a taste, just a taste of the broader range of tutorials that I offer. In my more comprehensive tutorials, I delve into advanced techniques, including how to create your own molds, and a variety of different methods on how to create some mesmerizing wall art. Please understand that this demonstration does not take away from the luxury agate tray course that you see in my school. Now, let's dive into this beginner-friendly mold and discover the wonderful world of resin. We're starting with the two-part mold you see here. Here we have the agate insert and the round mold. Simply place the insert into the round mold and make sure that the insert is sitting flush inside your mold. Start by mixing your favorite epoxy resin. Make sure to follow the instructions listed on the epoxy that you're working with. If you're new to resin, please understand that there are safety precautions you need to follow when working with resin. Carefully choose colors that will complement your color scheme. I chose to work with six different colors for this one, and I do prefer to mix my colors in small batches at a time. I'm adding some sparkly mica flakes that I received from Get Inspired. I like to use these because these flakes stay on the bottom and they seem to add a nice shimmery backdrop to the agate look. The rest is pretty self-explanatory, so I'll go ahead and speed up the process. Once your resin has dried, go ahead and remove the insert mold. Make sure to leave the coasters in the large mold. Um, try not to move them from their place. Now let's fill these empty spaces with some glittery flakes. I typically use a piping bag to fill in the lines. I find it to be less messy and most efficient. Once your filler has dried, we're now going to place a final coat of resin over the top. Now some people prefer to stop here, but I prefer to add some support to the tray. 
I'm attaching an 18 inch wood base that you can purchase from Home Depot, Michaels, or any other craft store. Here I'm just showing that I painted the base white just so that if there are any points in the agate coasters that are somewhat see-through, you see a white base rather than wood. Once your resin has dried, you should notice drips on the underside like this. You'll need a heat gun to soften the resin and remove with a blade. After unmolding, you'll notice very sharp edges. You want to sand this with 60 or 80 grit sandpaper. If you have a Dremel, you can use that too. Once you smoothed out the sides, we're going to go ahead and add some gold leaf adhesive. Now make sure to prop your piece when doing this step. When I'm using foil, I prefer to use my fingers to get better adhesion rather than a brush. However, if you're using genuine 24 karat gold, you want to avoid using your fingers. And here you have your finished agate tray. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thanks for watching.